Hi, and welcome to another episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy. Today we're going to be going back in time in my time machine that I just built that should hopefully work to visit some different hominids. So, let's go! Well, here we are, 1.8 to 1.9 million years ago. Here we're going to find Homo habilis, hopefully. Homo habilis was nicknamed the handyman because he used so many tools. He typically lives in East Africa, which is where we are right now. Um, when you see him, you're going to realize that he has a lighter, um, a lighter, rounder skull than we do, and kind of a projected face, but don't make fun of him. We don't want to edge him on. Look, there's one now. As you can see, Homo habilis is hitting two rocks together to get one extremely sharp so he can use it to cut down plants, since he has a main diet of vegetation. Let's go back to the time machine. Now here we are 1.8 million years ago. This is where we're gonna find Homo erectus in Africa, Asia, and Europe, which is where we are right now, we're in Europe. Um, Homo erectus was thought to be the first to control fire. Homo erectus uh, also was the first to believably live in societies and have feelings towards one another. Look, there's one now. As you can see, Homo erectus is not only creating, but also controlling fire. They used fire to sometimes cook the meat that they would eat because they had a generalized diet, including some meat. Let's go back to the time machine. Now here we are, 35,000 years BP to 17,000 years BP in Western Europe where we can find the Cro-Magnon Man. The Cro-Magnon Man is known for his um, artistic abilities and for being the caveman. He had a 1,600 cc cranial capacity. His name comes from a hotel in France. Oh, look, there he is. And here you can see the Cro-Magnon Man making one of his famous cave drawings. Who knows what he's drawing? An antelope? A bear? Some random squiggles? Who knows? Let's go back to the time machine. And now our last stop on the trip before we go home, 150,000 to 30,000 years ago. We're in Middle Eastern Europe right now, um, Western Asia, and we're going to be seeing Homo neanderthalensis. And you see, Homo neanderthalensis is the closest to our kind. It was once believed that we interbred with them and that they died off because we were the more superior. Um, they have um, a they have a bigger brain than we do, 1,300, 1,700 cc cranial capacity. So um, don't mess with one of them because they can outsmart you. Oh, look, look, there's one. Homo neanderthalensis is listening for his prey. You see, Homo neanderthalensis' diet consists of a lot of meat. Now he's going to throw one of his stone tools to kill the animal and then go catch it. Let's go back to the time machine. Well, thanks for watching today's episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy. I sure hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.